Hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry this video is a little late. I am trying to do this as fast as I possibly can. I just found my camera battery. And the whole thing is that I have to use my actual vlog camera instead of use my DSLR because I can't find the damn charger to that camera. I'm having technical difficulty. difficulties. That's a really hard word to say. This week we are talking about two topics that were sent in by viewers. One, talking about basically uh, your sexual orientation and how it's fluid throughout your life and if you have to stick to some label just because that's what society says you're supposed to do. Or um, a mother that wrote in, which I think is really awesome, asking about her um, 13 year old daughter that just came out. I think I'm gonna talk about a 13 year old thing because I've been there. I came out when I was 13, if you guys didn't already know. And it was really hard, like, because of that. Like, this mother obviously accepted it and was okay with it, and the father was the one that had a problem with it. And that's basically what happened in my life, kind of. Both my parents really did not accept it when I first came out. They were very skeptic to me knowing even what sexual relationships were, basically. And I mean, they had a really rough time and I went through a lot of shit and I was grounded a lot just because I was hanging out with girls that they had never met before, that they knew that, you know, I had hung out with them before. So they were like very skeptic on who I was and was not hanging out with. I did fake it a lot because both my parents weren't okay with it until I was like 16. 17, like high school age, where they met people that actually bettered me, like helped me do homework <laughs> because I was not ever a homework person. I just was never a school person. Yeah, I did fake it. I, you know, I had some of my guy friends come home and I was like, dude, will you please do this one favor for me and hold my hand and tell my mom that we're dating, just please, like, we don't have to do anything else, even though they always did. I was like, I'm not doing that because I'm trying to hide my sexual orientation. Anyway, I think forcing the word phase on anybody is very frustrating. And that's what my parents did. The term phase was held against me in a way. And it hurt me to think that just because of my age, I was not capable of being attracted to anything. You've seen like 10 year old girls like, oh my God, I'm in love with Justin Bieber. Like there's nothing different from me being like, oh my God, when I was like nine, Christina Aguilera was like, wow, holy sexy to me. To be said to your face, you're going to let it go. This isn't who you really are is frustrating because nobody knows who I am but myself. Like I know exactly who I am. I know who I want to be. I know what I want to do kind of at this point. Of course, I'm not going to know exactly where I want to be in my life at 23, but I know what I'm attracted to. I know what brings me happiness. And that is my girlfriend, Kristen. She is amazing and she makes me happy and where we have a really sane relationship and I knew that I would be happy and not care about what people said when I was 13. Is that weird? Probably. <laughs> I don't think anybody should tell you, no, you were like this, blank. Nobody can tell you that besides yourself. Of course, people are gonna portray you in some way because they know you so well and they know your past and whatnot, but at the same time, nobody can tell you who you are. Nobody can tell you it's a phase. Nobody can tell you you're just a lesbian or you're just bisexual or you're just straight. Like, if you fall in love with something, something, someone, I said something, it's kind of creepy. I don't know what that means, bestiality? No, it's like that guy, what is it? Strange obsessions or something like that, addictions, where the guy like was in love with his car. I mean, cool, if you're in love with your car, D damn thing, whatever, like cool. Um, high five your car for me. Nobody can tell you who you're gonna fall in love with because nobody can predict the future. If there is magic here, then maybe. I've been, me and Kristen have been watching Once Upon a Time so much and I just, I'm so excited to finish it. <sighs> yeah, 
I think that that's, I'm sorry, my hair is looking all ridic today. I'm like, what? It's humid as hell in South Carolina right now. So it's just kind of doing its own thing right now. <laughs> I hope that that helped. Um, any parents, like that was really cool to have a parent contact us. It's happened before, but it's always really cool. Like I, I, that's, to help parents too is something really awesome. So thank you for sitting in your question. So I hope you guys are having a good Friday. I'm sorry this is really late. I had to find my goddamn battery charger. Also, we are having a really cool guest come on this Sunday. And I think that some of you guys might remember who this is. And if not, this is a really awesome person that I honestly miss talking to. So um, come back on Sunday because we're gonna have a really cool thingy happening. What? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys next Friday. Have a good weekend and a good rest of your week. And I will see you back here then. Bye guys. Bye.